The Swiss foreign minister said yesterday that Jezda aimed to avert a new cold war in science. A pretty strong statement there. Do you agree? It's a pretty strong statement. Um, geopolitics at the moment, I think, is in an awful place. Um, and if we don't bring those groups, countries together, um, we won't bring the benefits of science to everybody that needs to. So I don't know about avoiding a Cold War. We just need to be sensible and bring people back together again. And we should remember, during the real Cold War of uh, US-Russia, they still collaborated in science. Smallpox was eradicated because of collaboration between Russia and the United States. Mm. You made a strong statement, which was that multilateralism has failed. So I'm wondering about JESDA. How can it reinforce multilateralism? Yeah, multilateralism over the last two years, I think, has failed. We, we're seeing um, vaccine inequity around the world that is unacceptable um, and is a, ska a, a scar on all of us. Um, that doesn't mean to say multilateralism isn't important. We just need to reinvent it for a, now a multipolar world. It is no longer a north-south one-way traffic. It is no longer an east-west. It is a different world, and, and we've been slow to realize the world has changed. We've been behind that curve. And that is really important, isn't it? That we actually get ahead of the curve too. And that's, again, where JESDA can perhaps fulfill a role. Yeah, the curve is moving. The curve is not static and science is moving. You know, my own scientific career, it is moving faster now than at any stage. Some of that's going on in traditional academia. A lot of it's going on in industry. And I would argue that group that's lagging behind is the political sphere, the diplomatic sphere. And the problem is if they don't get ahead of it and see what's coming, they may well make some bad decisions about regulating it, about stopping it, and that won't be in humanity's interest. So I think for me, what Gesta is doing is bringing society, science, diplomacy and politics back together again. Because it's very important. People tend to work in silos, scientists too. So how are we going to break out of those silos and get that collaboration when often there's so much vested interest and political agendas at play? Because the opportunity is so big. Um, you're absolutely right. We've become more siloed than less in many, many ways. And scientists are fearful of policymakers. Policymakers are fearful of society. Politicians are in a very short time frame window of what their horizon is. That's the role of, of Jedster, and, and I think it's ahead of its time. Um, I wish we'd done this 10 years ago, but if it, best to do it 10 years ago, we didn't do it, let's do it today.